know you are a prophet i respect you as a prophet i know you are an apostle i respect you as an apostle i don't downplay your stay listen let me tell you this when you derive joy in demeaning the relevance of another man of god it does not make you great fathers please we're wrapping up we're wrapping up let me have your attention please god wants to tell us something serious now listen please fathers you are greatly honored but respect the sons they have an advantage of time and can learn experience from you every father has shown us what he can become but we do not yet know what the sons will become Eli you play the role in the life of Samuel but don't demean that young boy that is the prophet who will ordain Saul that is the prophet who will ordain David sons respect fathers it doesn't matter what they preach it doesn't matter how many times you travel to the spirit and come back you are still a son if a baby takes 10 teens of breast milk the baby does not become an adult the baby becomes a healthy baby hallelujah let me speak especially to younger people in ministry don't follow this blind and foolish campaign of pointing fingers against fathers can i tell you the more i grow in ministry the more i'm silent when you see fathers quiet find out why young people have sin without wisdom when a father says hmm, and keeps quiet keep quiet as a young man too you'll be wiser are we together contemporaries let's respect ourselves now if you find somebody's ministry people are not idiots they know truth when they see it and the moment you begin to fight people you make you show your insecurity it comes on display because those who are helped by God walk ever conscious of his mercy over their lives so I will end my session by saying this Apostle John speaking by the Spirit he wrote to three groups of people I write to you fathers I write to you young men I write to you children no matter the category of age and experience in ministry there is something written to you a letter from God what God is telling the fathers is not what he's telling the young men no the fathers have wisdom and experience the young men have strength the children have malleability of heart you can make them become anything hold hands with someone we're about to wrap up Lord make us instruments of your peace is hatred let your love increase Lord make us instruments of your peace walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instrument please look at me man of God if your principles and practices are wrong, I don't condemn you, but change. If you have been mentored, when I say unity, I don't mean embracing everything. Because there are things in the body of Christ that are absolute nonsense. Don't mistake in what I'm saying. If it is not Jesus crucified, if it is not Jesus glorified, if it is not Jesus revealed. So when we talk of coming together, we are not saying, don't carry Rachel, leave the idols of your father's house. There is a better covenant with God. There are some of us, it was poor mentorship that led you into all kinds of extra biblical practices. While we do not condemn you, there is room for repentance. Change now. Use this conference to change. Some of you were taught by wrong friends manipulative ways to raise money for church. There are veterans with understanding who can help you on how to structure church finances with integrity. Find them. Go and sit down under their meetings and learn. There are some of us who have all kinds of character challenges. These are things you have been ignoring for a long time, but it's telling on you. Go back and work on yourself. At every level, growth is still possible. Are we together now? So when I say this, the Bible says to examine ourselves whether we are still in the faith. Honestly, there are people I love, but they cannot be my friends. I love them sincerely. But until I see the degree of your yieldedness to Christ and his purposes, I love you from afar and I wish you well. But it will be a risk to bring you into my space. Your, your emotional carelessness is not healthy for friendship with me. Your level of indiscipline with anything at all 
Say anything you want to say. Do anything you want to do. Jump into people's house. Collect their cars. Collect whatever. In the name of prophetic instructions. I love you but change. Don't harass any member to collect money from them. They didn't send you. If you are bankrupt, go to the one who sent you and say, what was the strategy for my feeding? Are we together? I have to say this. We cannot end a pastor's conference without pointing this. The truth is that some of you have lost your honor. It faded like a leaf because of character issues. Your issue was not revelation. You lack character. Once you drop down from the pulpit, you are almost as if you've never given your life to Christ. There are young people that carelessness started from campus and there was no system to tame it. And some of us are learning all kinds of rubbish. Learning all kinds of rubbish. It has to change. Anybody who is coming to your church plundering you or making you disturb wealthy people in your church or all kinds of character challenges. I don't condemn you. Never will I. We are products of God's mercy. But for God's sake, some of you may need to take a break for a few weeks and sit down with a seasoned man of God and say, help me, I have anger. Help me, I have lust. Help me, I have what again? Jealousy, bitterness, envy. Huh? Unforgiveness. Oh, over my dead body. No, 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 no. Repent now. This is why we are holding hands. One prayer and I leave this place. Show me mercy, oh God. Don't pray for your congregation. Don't worry about your congregation. Pray for yourself. Obtain mercy. Walk upon my heart. Someone pray. Walk upon my heart. Give me longevity of impact in ministry. Let me be a person of love genuinely. 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 Let me become a builder to the body, not a destroyer. Someone go ahead and pray. Repent for the manipulations you may have caused to the members of your church. Ask God to show you mercy. The Lord is nigh them that call upon him. Make a cry before God. I'm ready to do ministry with integrity from today. Integrity from today. Given to prayer. Given to the study of the word. Given to laboring to build God's people. Go ahead and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart.